Parliament. And I can say without a doubt that I am truly honored and blessed to be his brother, his friend, and to have him as my mentor. As we're coming up to the anniversary of September 11th, 2001, I'm reminded that in the hour of need of the Muslim community, when many politicians at the federal and the provincial and the municipal level scattered for cover, the very next day, the Honorable George Snitherman was front and center in front of the media, in front of the Jami Mosque in Toronto, in solidarity with the Muslim community. It's in that same spirit that he's today honored us all by participating in the holy month of Ramadan and actually keeping a fast. And George, I think you're on record now as being the first Canadian politician of any stripe at any level to do this. I can see in front of us, George, as we've seen together in so many functions, maybe 200, 250 plus that we've held together as a member of colleagues in the legislature of Ontario, you represent the face of Toronto just as your supporters represent the face of Toronto. Now some housekeeping issues. We've got to get this man at the helm of the city. We have advanced pollings on October 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, and 13. And I would encourage each and every one of you and five or 10 or 20 close friends to go and put your vote in Register your vote in earlier for the Smitherman team. And with that, I would now present to you my dear colleague, my friend, my brother, the Honorable George Smitherman. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan Mubarak. I want to say to all of you, thank you very much for making this day such a special one for joining with us in this iftar. And I want to let all of you know that um, today I have come to learn all the better about uh, the uh, sacrifice associated with Ramadan. And I want to just say that uh, my respect for uh, the Muslim uh, religion and for its values has grown immensely. And at several points through the day today, when my hunger was on my mind, it took my mind to Pakistan. Can you hear me over there? Yeah, yeah. It took my mind to Pakistan. And I would ask any of you, I know that you have already given. We have a box here where we have been collecting some resources. We must keep in our hearts and in our minds and in our prayers at all times. That as challenging as our situation can be here from time to time, that today millions and millions of people in Pakistan struggle against challenges and we must do our utmost to help them. We are still collecting resources and we will make those available to a reputable aid organization. I do not have in my heart a long speech because still I only had a few things to nibble on. And the Briani yet awaits to rebuild my energy for the last 48 days of the campaign. But I do want to say that um, I need you. I offer you in return for the work that I ask you to lend to my campaign that I will at all times be a mayor who seeks to build unity through diversity, to build and focus, <laughs> to focus at all times on those things that we have in common the need that we have for our families to be safe and secure, the need that we have for our families to experience good opportunities for jobs, the desire that we have for our city to deliver its service as well. 48 days of campaigning to go, and I ask of you that you assist me so that all of, on all of the days after, I can do all of the work on your behalf to make our city of Toronto as great as we know it can be. I just, um, thank you. I only close by uh, saying that um, I have been enriched. I am a son of Toronto. 
And in my life, I have been enriched by the experiences that come from this minority community and that minority community. And I, too, come from a minority community. And I come to understand that sometimes others persecute minorities, and they are ignorant about the circumstances of minorities. And at all times, I will seek to be one of those that's involved in building bridges and informing people this is the obligation of a mayor for a city that has the motto, diversity, our strength. This is the obligation that I will seek to fulfill every day if you help to elect me as your mayor. The last thing I'm going to say is a thank you and then an introduction. I want to thank my, uh, my brother, Dr. Shafiq Qadri. For, for many years in the Ontario, he was here, he was here. Didn't we, 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 know, uh, we know good Dr. Qadri. Uh, for many years, we had the privilege of serving together in the legislature, and I have been so grateful for all the offering of support that has come from him, from his entire family. And I also want to uh, acknowledge the presence of the member of provincial parliament for the riding of Scarborough Rouge River. Also somebody that I know for a long time who was once a city councillor and is now a member of provincial parliament who will give us the very last words, those words of thanks for this evening, the great member of provincial parliament, Baz Balkasun. Thank you, George. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a real honor to see all of you here today to join George as he goes through this iftar with all of you and uh, actually fasting for the entire day today. George, I would say by the faces I've seen in this room, they're all very proud of you. They're proud of you because you've reached out to the community. And I'm telling you, they're going to make you more proud because they're going to reach back. My colleague uh, Shafiq and I are here because we've had the opportunity to work with George. And we know truly that what George says, he means it right here. Because if he didn't, we wouldn't be here. He would make one of the best mayors in this city to support the diverse community that we have. Now my colleague Shafiq says that he wants all of you to go to the advanced poll. But he didn't tell you why. On behalf of George, I want to tell you why you got to go to the advanced poll and cast that ballot of yourself and your entire family. Because we don't want you going to the poll to vote on election day. On election day, George needs you to be taking your neighbors to the poll and making sure that they vote for this man. Because we want to put that to the so remember that, your goal on election day is not that you're going to vote, you're going to vote at the advance poll. I want all of you to commit that you're going to take 10 or more of your friends to vote on election day because we need you. And every one of you that are here, we want to see your own campaign and on help and joy from today until election day. I know a lot of you are fasting and it's going to be tough for the next 5 or 6 days. But after Saturday, we're going to have 100% energy. So we need all of you on the street. We need your support in George. I want to thank all of you for coming here. And George, on behalf of the community, because I admire these people, we want to thank you for what you've done today because you reached out to us. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my wife. Thank you all for coming. And we want to make sure we put George in office on election. Thanks a lot.